Got him. I smoked it. Absolutely sm Two biggest ones of the day, for sure. Frickin' awesome. There you go, old girl. She's gone. Just like that. Look at the size of that sunfish that Tim just caught. Just measured it. Just under eight and a quarter. We got Timothy Yaw over here. Howdy folks. It's a big bluegill. We're having a good day today. Good morning so far. Yeah, very good morning. So me and Tim, or Tim and I are out in the north woods of Wisconsin and we're pounding big bluegills. I the one I just let go at how big was that? Nine and But yeah, it was an absolute giant. Let the big ones go, let them grow. Be good to the lake, but we are rocking the Fish Boys Custom Long Rod, as you can see, with a PC Fun Carbon X500 on it, with a tungsten fly that I tied myself. Two red spikes, got the Vexlar Flex 28, rocking and rolling. We are fishing pretty much just weed pockets that we find, drilling a bunch of holes, fishing weed pockets or holes with very few weeds, and Tim, oh my gosh, Tim just caught a monster. They gotta get big somehow, folks. Okay, well, I'm gonna strap the GoPro on and uh, get back to catching fish because they are biting heavy. Hit that subscribe button, please and thank you. And uh, yeah, let's catch some fish. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're hooked up. Oh, little guy. Little bluegill. Bye bye, bud. Sim says he keeps missing fish, so it doesn't help the program at all. It is on. It is on. That is a nice one. Well, Tim just caught a nice one. Big stocky bluegills, Tim says. Are you still marking? Don't make me come drop down in your hole. Yep, I'm moving holes. Done with this hole. Wait, 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 wait. There ain't no way. How about you guess how deep it is first? No. 9-2. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking so. That's weird. How deep are you in? Eight feet. So the closer you get to shore, the deeper it's getting. This has got to be a good hole. Oh yeah. Hooked up, boys. Oh, nice one. First fish is a freaking beauty. Heck yeah. Look at that blue go right there. Fly right in the corner of the mouth. Got another one. Oh, jeez. They're getting bigger. Holy, holy moly is right, Tim. That is a perfect eater. Holy moly, he says. Holy moly. We're getting crazy out here, folks. I need to drop my transducer down a little further here. There we go. Let's see if I can. There we go. Mark my bait a little better. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Oh yeah. Now we're. Go oh gosh. Another mark. Looks like a smaller mark. Oh, missed him. Hey, your hands cold just a little bit. Two marks waiting for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, how's it even possible? 
How is that even possible? That's literally a minnow right there. How is that even possible though? Like, come on now. Boop. Back he goes. Well, we're definitely gonna chill in this hole for a, for definitely a minute or two. Oh, there's a mark waiting down there for me. Must get down there. Here, buddy. Come here, bud. You know you want that tungsten fly in your mouth. He definitely wants a tungsten fly to the top lip. Oh boy. Got him. Chased it right up. Oh, he's a crazy one. Oh boy, we got a transducer wrap going on. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. These bluegills are so fired up. He's a little small, but it's okay. Fish with fish. Right there. Hopefully you guys can see that good. Tungsten fly. The key to all species, even if they're biting very light and they're very finicky. Okay, well, kind of holding the camera weird, but Tim said I got to get the camera for something, and uh, yeah, I see why. Mind those. That one's got to put the big ones back. Should I have done that slower for uh, cinematic purposes? Uh, no, I think you're good. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, two marks. Yep, got him. Nice one, nice one for sure. Nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that blue heel. Freaking beautiful. If it was much bigger than this, I probably wouldn't keep it, but we're gonna keep this one. But any bigger than that, I wouldn't keep. What do you got there, Tim? Nice. Yeah. You really? Tim said, he's, Tim said he's roping an eight in the transducer. I looked over at a rod, was bent over. I thought he had a big muskie on. Holy cow. Definitely not jigging it very hard by any means. Just a nice, light, subtle jig. Do I love, the spring bobber definitely helps. It's like, just so you get that spring bobber moving is like, just perfect. So easy to see bites. Oh, here we go. Coming right up to it. Oh, he upbited me on that one. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. That might've been a crappie. Oh wow. Wow, he smoked it so hard. All the line just went totally slack. That was crazy. Oh, we got him. I didn't even rest. That's a little guy. Oh no, it is a crappie. Ow, God, put that freaking fly right in my finger. Look at that. A little crappie. How did I call that? I literally called that. Knew he up bit me. Crappies are notorious for a good up bite. Oh boy, two chasing it. Oh, that might be a little better one. Yep, that's a better one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that blue eel. Freaking beautiful. Perfect eight and a half. Perfect eaters, like perfect. Another mark down there too. Now I got one red spike on. Tim said he's moving because he's sick of not catching anything. Tim said his fish have swam away. Come on, I gotta get down there. Okay, we're back down. There is another mark waiting down there. I'm guessing since he's seen his buddy go flying up, he might fly up. Yep, here he comes. Oh, he up bit me. Oh my gosh. That might be a crappie too. Or it's a big bluegill. I'm guessing that it's a big bluegill if that other one was a big bluegill swimming together. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, all over it. Two marks again. Got him. Yep, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tim. Tim. Look how beautiful that thing is. What? Look how big that thing is. Oh my gosh. I might let this one go just because it's a nice big fat male. Yeah, we're gonna let we're gonna we're gonna be true sportsmen here and we'll let him go and let him grow. There you go, buddy. Really would have liked to keep that fish because Tim would have just gobbled that one right down, but 
It's okay. We got better eaters to keep. Come on, hit that subscribe button right now. If I catch this fish down there right now, you have to hit that subscribe button. Oh boy, you guys are gonna have to hit that subscribe button. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's got him. Big one. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like you guys are gonna have to hit that subscribe button. Holy cow. Look at the size of that. Hit that subscribe button right now. Pause the video quick and do it. Look at that bad boy. Holy cow. Just insane. Yeah, this is just crazy. This is what early ice is all about. Nice, dumb, hungry fish. Okay, guy, you don't gotta get like any closer. Just settle down a little bit. Oh. Boy, oh boy, did we rope him today, I tell you what. We caught, we kept probably 30, about 30. But we let quite a few go. We did, we let go some real absolute dinner plates, dinner plate bluegills. And we did have a little bit of heartbreak. Might have lost stuff. I did not get it on video though. No. It was a big pumpkin seed, probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Almost a wall hanger, not quite though, but you know, still a cool fish. I would really like to look at it and just appreciate it. What else do you guys say? It's We're closing just, out the video here. It's just nice to be out, you know. Uh, hit, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I mean, maybe buy a Fish Boy custom ice rod. Yeah. Maybe follow Tim on Instagram. Yeah, maybe you could do some of that. It's, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a bad idea. I mean, what would, you, what would you call it today? A bad, a bad day? Oh, you know, it wasn't. It far, wasn't too bad. We had a far from a bad day. Yeah, you know, any day where you're roping huge bluegills is a good day. It really puts a smile on your face.